Welcome to Religious Studies at Castle Newnham School. I'm Rachel Moore, I'm the Head of RS, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about what this subject is all about and why I think it's so important. So, what is Religious Studies? Well, it covers three main areas. The first is World Religions. This looks at the six major world faiths, and it gives pupils an opportunity to look at the different religious beliefs and traditions that exist within these. They'll think about similarities and differences within and between religious and non-religious uh, traditions and think about how they can reflect upon these for their own lives, whether they're religious or not. The second is philosophy. Philosophy deals with ultimate world questions and uh, questions about meaning of life and existence. Peoples will think about what happens when we die, if anything at all. They'll think about if they're here for a reason or purpose and is there anything that makes them special or unique. We won't necessarily get concrete answers to these questions, but peoples have a lot of fun discussing these in class. And finally, ethics. Ethics deals with uh, how I know the difference between right and wrong. Peoples will think about whether something is always right or wrong, or whether sometimes it can depend on the situation. They'll look at this from both a religious and a non-religious perspective. So why do I think RS is important? Well, RS gives us a greater understanding of the world that we're growing up in. With more than half of the world uh, religious, it's really important that our young people have an understanding of the different people that they may come across and their beliefs and their traditions. This has an impact on individuals' behaviours and our young people need to be equipped to understand uh, in a global economy the kind of different people that they will meet. And religion has a role in our everyday lives. Whether we like it or not, religion is still an important part of our country. This country is recognised as a Christian country still and it still has an, uh, a role to play, for example, in our legal system. Um, there are 26 bishops in the House of Lords and they help to decide the kind of uh, laws that our country will make. Religion still helps to dominate what we consider acceptable or not acceptable in society. Alongside this, though, pupils will think about actually what an increasingly secular society means for them. But ultimately, for me, religious studies is about creating a tolerant society. It's important that our young people know who they are and also who other people are so that we can grow, uh, they can grow up in a world which is... Uh, a nicer, kinder world than perhaps the one that uh, has existed in the past. Finally, religious studies deals with cross-curricular skills, particularly evaluation and analysis. These are really important skills uh, in subjects uh, that deal with literacy in particular, um, and people having the opportunity to respond to different ideas from across the world and get their own perspectives on these will really help them with their writing and their reading and understanding. So, as you can see from this slide, this is the kind of thing that our pupils will study in the RS curriculum. Um, in Year 7 and 8, pupils have two lessons a fortnight, and they have one lesson a fortnight in Year 9 and two in Year 10. The Year 10 course is not examined unless pupils choose to do GCSE. Um, it's uh, more core-based, and we're hoping we're equipping our young people with uh, what we consider vital information and knowledge and skills in order to live, a success live successfully in the outside world. So, for example, in Year 10, pupils will look at the Holocaust and extreme in extremism and radicalisation, uh, topics that we feel are really, really important for our young people. So, for the first time in September 2020, we're offering GCSE RS. Uh, this is something we're really excited about because it uh, really gives our young people a chance to extend their knowledge um, in this subject. It's split into two main parts. Uh, peoples will look at world religions, so they look at Christianity and Islam, and then they also look at themes, and that deals with philosophical and ethical issues in the world today. So, for example, our young people think about uh, environmental issues, reproductive issues, um, issues, uh, ethical issues in relationships, and they'll look at these from religious and non-religious perspectives. One thing I really want to stress about this subject as a whole is how important it is that young people have their own uh, can say their own opinions. That is always valid in this subject, um, and it's never just about what other people think. Finally, if you have any questions or queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can see my email address on the screen. Thank you.